Welcome to Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday on Kids WB. With us, the Weasleys. I'm James Phelps and I play Fred Weasley. I'm Oliver Phelps and I play George Weasley. I'm Bonnie Wright and I play Ginny Weasley. We're here on the set of The Great Hall to fill you in on some Harry Potter's movie magic. Speaking of magic, remember in the Chamber of Secrets there was that magical scene where Ron pulled Harry Potter back into the car with one hand. All while they were flying about. How did they do that? Well, Harry Potter was hooked up to a wire and then Ron simply grabbed his hand and the wire lifted him into the car, making it appear like Ron was pulling him in. A little wind was added and the green screen background was replaced. And I just thought he was super strong. Like me. Don't go away, there's more movie magic ahead when Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday continues here on Kids WB. It's time to reveal more of Harry Potter's spellbinding secrets here on Kids WB. With us, the Weasleys. Why don't we show all those muggles out there how Hogwarts students learn how to levitate a feather? With a bit of magic, I thought. Magic. And a feather. And some string. And of course, a little computer wizardry to magically make the string disappear. My turn, let me try. No. I'm having too much fun. Keep watching for more of Harry Potter's spellbinding secrets coming up here on Kids WB. Welcome back to the Great Hall for Harry Potter's spellbinding secret Saturday here on Kids WB. With us, the Weasleys. Now, everyone knows that Harry Potter movies are filmed with wild, computer generated creatures. But here's a little secret we also got to work with a lot of real animals, too. Like owls, hippos, bats. Rats and very hairy cats. My personal favourite. And of course, all the actors are real. Hmm. Real twin or computer generated double? Stay tuned because there's more of Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday coming up. He's a real Weasley. Right here on Kids WV. We're back on the set of the Great Hall for more of Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday here on Kids WB. With us, the Weasleys. That was a tight fit. James, why don't you explain how we did that little trick? And by we, you mean people besides us. Exactly. Well, we built a three-story bus and then we drove it around town. And then finally, we used computer magic to speed the bus up and shrink it down to fit in between the two of the buses. Wow, we did a lot. Yes, we are amazing, aren't we? Stay right where you are, because we, the Weasleys, will be back with more of Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday here on Kids WB. Welcome back to the set of the Great Hall for Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday. With us, the Weasleys. I'm James Phelps and I play Fred Weasley. I'm Oliver Phelps and I play George Weasley. I'm Bonnie Wright and I play Ginny Weasley. One of the most amazing sets built for the Harry Potter films was the Shrieking Shack. Which is basically a little old house. Only it moves. And shrieks. It was actually a very special house. It was built on a stage where the movements could be controlled with huge steel beams that moved back and forth. Then finally some sound effects were added. And there you have it, a magical Shrieking Shack. James, show them your impersonation of a shrieking shack. Oh, that's brilliant. Stay tuned for more Harry Potter Spellbinding Secret Saturday. With us, the Weasleys, here on Kids WB. It's time to reveal more of Harry Potter Spellbinding Secrets here on Kids WB. With us, the Weasleys. One of my favourite effects in Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban is when Peter Pettigrew turned into a rat. This took many steps. The first step was to get some makeup for Peter to wear so he could start looking like a rat. New clothes, new hair, even new fingernails were needed. And then, of course, an actual rat was used too. Finally, all the elements were put together with a magical computer, and the end result was when Peter Pettigrew turned into a rat. And here's Peter now. It looks like Peter needs a reversing spell. And here's another secret. This rat isn't real. Keep watching for more of Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secret Saturday with us, the Weasleys, this morning here on Kids WB. It's time to reveal another one of Harry Potter's Spellbinding Secrets here on Kids WB. With us, the Weasleys. One of the coolest creatures was the half-horse, half-eagle hippogriff called Buckbeak from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. First they built an incredible real-looking life-size model that was used on the set. They even put in every feather by hand. Then for the final film, Buckbeak came to life with some help from some amazing computer wizardry. 
Um, yeah, you may want to look into some computer wizardry. Why, so they can make me look more like you? <laughs> Are you kidding? You could never be as handsome as me. Stay tuned, because there's more of Harry Potter's spellbinding secret Saturday with us, the Weasleys, all morning long here on Kids WB. It's time for more of Harry Potter's spellbinding secret Saturday. With us, the Weasleys. I'm James Phelps and I play Fred Weasley. I'm Oliver Phelps and I play George Weasley. I'm Bonnie Wright and I play Ginny Weasley. Remember in the Chamber of Secrets when Ron and Harry landed in the Whomping Willow Tree? That was frightening. And what you don't know is that they built a huge life-size tree with a car already attached. But the best part was that the Whomping Willow Tree was operated by a video game-like control stick. I need to get one of those controllers. Why? Did your car get stuck in a tree again? Congratulations, Muggles. Now you know some of Harry Potter's most spellbinding secrets. It's been an absolute pleasure conjuring up movie magic just for you. <laughs>